Yo, what's up guys? Today I have a brand new video. I'm going to be teaching you how to do 3D thumbnails. This video is going to be really short, really simple, and if you guys enjoy the video, be sure that you drop a like, subscribe, and comment Zen or next three times. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the video. Peace. Okay guys, right here, I have all that you need in order to do this. So if you go down to the link in the description of this YouTube video, there's going to be two links. One link to the Blender, which you need to download Blender in order to do all this. Just go to Blender, download it. It's free. Everything's free in this, okay? And then there's a second link, which is a Google Drive link that all you have to do is just click on it. it takes you to this Google Drive. You have access for everyone. And you just click on uh, models or uh, backgrounds, assets, or anything that you want that you want to like model and move around and stuff in the Blender file. And we're just going to choose the skin real quick. And we're going to go in the Blender. So I'll see you guys when we get there. Okay guys, so once you have it pulled up, all you want to do is go to file and you want to go to open, alright? So you go to open and you choose whatever skin you downloaded, alright? So if you said that you want to download, I don't know, the Gold Trooper, that's what I chose. We're going to go to Gold Trooper, I chose the pink variant. So we're going to go to Gold Trooper Pink, um, in parentheses, dot blend. You want to double click on that and then it should automatically start loading up. As you can see, it's loaded up right now and for me, since I have a decent computer, I switch it over to this rendering right here, which actually gives you a more accurate representation of what type of look it's going to have when you, um, I guess, finish it. It's going to simply um, mold this character around and make it do whatever you want it to do. It's really easy. So all you have to do is go to rotate right here, click on one of these little black dots or black lines on the character, depending on what angle you're looking at. And you simply want to go up once this thing is highlighted it's all yellow you want to go up to object mode click on that and change it to pose mode then click on whatever bone you want to move for me i'm going to move the elbow click on rotate again then you want to move it up and you can go switch by holding down your uh mouse scroll wheel and you can change the direction that you're looking and you can move uh down you can move it up you can move it like this, or rotate the arm like that. It's really easy. You can do that for every other body part. You can even do it to the neck. As you can see, you can change directions of where she is looking. So that's all you have to do. So I'm about to show you guys how I normally would edit it. And I'm just going to give you a quick little time lapse of moving the skin around and making it look good. So I will see you guys when I'm done. Okay guys, so now that I have all of that finished, all I have to do, this is the easiest step I could ever do, bro. All I need to do is just add some light, which is super easy, and then add a camera. Alright, so first, if you want to add a light so that you, the character isn't completely dark and terrible and very hard to see, all you want to do is hit add, and then you want to go to light, and you want to go to sun. Like so, and as you can see, when you take it, and move it to certain areas it actually creates like a shadow effect because it's getting brighter and brighter so i just move this light around to all the parts that i need for to be like very 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 bright so all you want to do now is add again add a camera like so go back zoom out a little bit if you have to go up move it around to the point where the frame is all good Click on this camera icon right here, click on it, zoom in, zoom out if you have to. Let it lets you know uh, if it's well, how it's gonna look like whenever you finish. Then render, go to render image, and there you go. 
now the image should be rendered like so it rendered in like two milliseconds sometimes it might go a little bit faster just depending on your graphics card and all that stuff and then you just want to go and click on image and save as and save it in a folder and i'm gonna hit cancels i don't need to save it but boom and that is how you make pngs like this that look insane and if you enjoy this be sure that you have dropped a like and you subscribe and I will see you guys all in the next video. This was really simple. I hope you guys enjoy. Peace.